us a little bit about uh, your company and how you got there and, and what your mission is. My company is Home Care for Children. It's a solely pediatric high-tech nursing agency and we, uh, our, our patients are only children with high-tech needs. Okay. And 25 years ago when I started this business, there was no such thing as a solely pediatric agency. And that was my idea that it should be something all by itself, staffed only with uh, pediatric and neonatal ICU nurses so that those children would have an opportunity to come home instead of what was the norm at the time. Uh, they would spend a couple of years in the ICN and then go to the PEDS ICU for four years and then be in an institution. Yeah. And I witnessed countless mothers just torn apart by having to leave their children when they were in such you know, need of them. I had these two parts of my personality that had developed, but I didn't know how to put them together. And then I had occasion to move out to San Francisco and um, I was there for about six weeks and the relationship that I was in abruptly ended and there I was in a strange place, knew no one and had no job and decided that, uh, you know, I better get a job. Yeah. <laughs> so I went down to the corner store and I got a newspaper and I opened it up and literally the page that I opened it to and the first thing I looked at was the very first ad that uh, UCSF uh, was going to start a pilot program with a local agency and this was their first ad and I was the first person that responded to it. This uh, venture with UCSF, it, um, it had a lot of bumps mm -hmm. and I didn't like the way things were being done. I think that um, pediatric patients, especially extremely ill ones that come out of a neonatal ICU, they need specialty nurses. Mm -hmm. And they didn't, the agency that I worked for didn't really share my belief. So I said, you know what, I think this is a good idea. This, this is something that needs to exist mm -hmm. for people, a, you know, for the families, for the patient. And so I applied to Rutgers MBA program because I know, you know nothing about how to run a business. And um, I went back to New Jersey. And I found multiple times in my life that when it seems the darkest, and this is the worst possible thing that could ever happen to me. The flip side of that has been incredible things. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's even made me deal with catastrophes in my life in a different way because I feel like I, I get it and I know something's coming and yeah. now I'm looking forward to it and it's just a lot less rattling. The thing that has inspired me the most has come from my business and it's the women, the mothers of the children that I've cared for that have amazed me. Mm -hmm. What they go through, what they sacrifice continually for the love of their child, no matter how sick, no matter, even if it seems they're going to lose that child, they never waver. Mm -hmm. They're incredible. Yeah, it teaches you have, true love. They have inspired me. And so in my advice to women who want to start businesses that are a little different is if, if you believe in yourself, completely and totally, just do it. Hi, my name is Linda Welbrock and I am the founder of the Leading Women Entrepreneurs Initiative. Congratulations once again to the top 25 leading women entrepreneurs. This initiative has been incredibly exciting and inspiring. The list of finalists are made up of 150 women. Their estimated combined revenue generation is over $1 billion. They are employing over 10,000 people and they are supporting over 1,800 nonprofits. The impact that these women have had on our state and local communities is absolutely outstanding. The criteria that the women entrepreneurs were judged on include innovation, market potential, advocacy for women, and community involvement. It is my mission to raise awareness for these outstanding leaders and present them as role models to future women entrepreneurs and to the future generation of young girls who are looking for options for their own careers. I believe if we work together and use the power of the media to present these women as icons and as role models, that we can make a cultural shift in today's society. We are opening the nomination process for 2013. If you know a leading women entrepreneur in your community, you can send the nominations to me at Linda at Leading Women Entrepreneurs or visit my website for further details. Again, I look forward to seeing you and meeting you in 2013.